first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bahashem. Second, I want to get double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do you well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole for elect scattered across the four corners of the earth. We Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bahashem, this place you are. Shalom to you, Akim out there, risking your life and your freedom in the precious gospel via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom on to you. Shalom on to you, Israelites, that may like the members of the other nation, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if your spirit can receive it, you were Israelites, and shalom on to you. Shalom on to you, to say, I go out there. A few women, shalom on to you, a few children as well. I'm the brother Michael from the tribe of Judah 144. Coming to you again with another quick lesson. I will write this out, which means Lord willing, which is some edification, right? As you can see by the title, you know, this is the MOTB update. So as you can see by the title, we, we moving that much closer, right? That much closer, okay? Because once this is made mandatory, then Hamashiach is going to make his, his second return, okay? And we're just waiting because that means we're moving that much closer to getting up out of here, right? I'm not going to read much of this, this article. I'm going to leave a link in the description box, you know, in case any other brothers want to do a lesson from it, you know. But it's something that's, you know, been passed around a lot. And um, it's just showing you how, how close we're moving to that particular time, okay? As you can see, a woman paying for her meal in a cafe using a contactless payment chip implant in her hand, okay? It's like Patrick Puman. Causes a stir whenever he pays for something in the shop or restaurant. This is because the 37-year-old doesn't need to use a bank card or his mobile phone to pay. Instead, he used simply his left hand, made a contact with his card reader, and the payment goes through. The reactions I get from cashiers are priceless, says Pima, a security guard from the Netherlands. He able to pay using his hand because back in 2019, he had a comp contactless payment micro injecting under his skin okay and this is where they're moving with this thing okay and he says he causes all both small and great rich and rich and free you know poor and bond you know, free and bond so I can he means that okay because as you you can see we have a lot of different people that's look at this as a conveniency you don't have to have your, your your cell phone or having your wallet filled with four or five, ten different bank cards. No, you can get all of it in the palm of your hand. And don't forget, it's also, you're going to have the, the brain chip as well. The brain limitation. The procedure hurts as much as when someone pinches your skin. All right? And as you can see, Mr. Pyramid had a chip under the skin of his left hand and it lights up when it comes in close contact with a payment machine. Okay? So, look at this. They've been waiting. Man, they've been waiting to roll on this thing for, for a minute. A microchip was implanted into a human back in 2000. I mean, it's like in, back in, in 1998. All right? And when I hear about this, it makes me think about movies like Total Recall, Devolition, uh, Man, you know, stuff that people would consider far-fetched. But why do you think they put those type of things in movies? Because it's an agenda, all right? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the so-called white man has an agenda, and he knows he has but a short time, all right? He knows he has but a short time. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 14 on down. And he deceived them to dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had which had the wound by a sword and did live. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that. As many would not worship the image of the beast, should be killed, right? You know, you know, you gonna have some brothers that's gonna lose their life for not bowing down to this to society, to this image, you know, for not wanting to take that karagma. Okay, 
verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. It can be in any hand, left or right. Right really doesn't matter. But, you know, once you receive that mark, that means that you're basically giving yourself over to E. He is your most high. He, he is your savior. Right. Because you're going to have some people that's going to, what you say, live off the grid. How about Shemia Rashad is going to take care of them. All right. He's going to take care of them. Okay. Verse 17. You know what? To receive a mark in their right hand on their forehead. Verse 17. That no man by or sell. See, he that had the mark. On the name of the beast. On the number of his name. So I came about that. Somebody was at the door. So I can Made it off with, um. The book of Revelation. Chapter 14. Because it's a penalty. For receiving this man's mark. Okay. This is all ultimately set up by Yahweh by Shemir Rashad. Are you going to believe in me? Or are you going to believe in this, this carnal man? All right. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14. I'm going to start verse 14 down to 12. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion with him. A hundred forty and forty thousand have his father's name written in their in their foreheads. Okay, the names of Yahweh Bashem El Shaddai. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harps harping with their harps, and they they sung, they with a new song before the throne, before the four beasts, and for the elders. And no man could learn the song but the hundred forty four thousand, which were which were redeemed from the earth. Verse four. These are them that which are not defiled with women, and they were virgins, meaning they wasn't tainted. They didn't give in to different philosophies and stuff like that, okay? It's not really talking about physical women. It's talking about their minds were purr, okay? These were them just follow the land, whichsoever he goeth. They were redeemed from among being the first fruits unto Yahweh and unto Yahweh Shah. And their mouth was found no God, verse 5. For they were without fault before the throne of Yahweh, verse 6. And I saw another angel in the midst of heaven, having an everlasting gospel to preach unto them, dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and every kindred, and every tongue, and every people, yeah, because we're scattered everywhere. Okay? That's why I said the Israelites are made like the members of other nations. Verse 7. The same with a loud voice. Fear Yahweh and give glory unto him, for the hour of judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of water. Verse 8. And there follow another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of fornication. And yes, Babylon is fallen. Okay? But we'll witness the downfall of Babylon. Babylon, a.k.a. modern day America. And for those that don't know, Babylon stands for. Babel confusion, okay? So this is the land of confusion. Verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, okay? Verse 10. They should drink of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. In the presence of Yahweh Shah, the Mashiach, the smoke of their torment, verse 11, the smoke of their torment sent it up forever and ever, and they had no rest day nor night. Who shall ever worship the beast and his image, and who shall receive the mark of his name? Okay, verse 12, and amended here. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the, first, and the faith of Yahweh Shah, the Mashiach. Okay, because we're deemed not to take that. Because it's a judgment that comes with that. All right. And this is the new, you know, like you, like you look over here in verse 13, verse 4, uh, chapter 13, and verse 14. As you can see, the seed mean a lot of people are going to be deceived. Okay. A lot of people are going to be deceived by the means of these miracles, which he's going to be able to perform. Get people their sight back, you know, be able to, um, 
um, make you walk, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's all about control, having that that that, that power of control. All right, knowing your every move, knowing everything you're doing. All right, because at the end of the day, like I said, this man knows he has but a short time. And if I know I have a short time, you know, if I if I had a real twisted and sinister mind, I would want to take as many people I was with me as you know as possible. Okay, and he's he's going to deceive when it, when it says he's going to deceive many. I mean, a lot of people are going to be tricked and going to fall for the, the the trickery or whatever he's going to do and deceive deceiving people into taking that. But there is a punishment, and there is a price. But we moving closer to that that time and that day. Okay, it's going to be a big I told you so. Okay, because when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's he's only coming back for the elect. And you're going to have some, you're going to have people that's going to be living on this earth that didn't, didn't take it. He's going to deliver them for whatever they're going through. And you're going to have some that's going to lose their life for it. But we're going to live and reign with the Hamashiach forever and ever and ever more. All right. So call Allah Yahweh Bashim Abshah, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Abshah, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Abshah, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS to do good well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole full elect. Scattered across the four corners on the earth. Where Yahweh Bashim Abshah is placed you at. Just know we're moving right much closer. All right. This is just an MOTB update. Just letting you know. Moving that much closer to the return of our Lord. To the return of the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Shalom.